Now, what in the carnival is going on here? So it appears that Carnival Cruise Line is making some adjustments. They are changing some rules on board their ships, which we're going to talk about in today's video. It does appear that, unfortunately, the actions of a few will affect everyone. Well, it's probably more than a few people. But we are going to talk about this topic and look at everything objectively, because it does appear that on each side, some people think these rules are justified, while others believe that Carnival Cruise Line is transitioning into a company that is meant for vacation while simultaneously treating everyone like children. By the way, quick announcement, today at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, I will be launching a very interesting and, well, honestly, somewhat disturbing review of the ship I just disembarked, MSC's brand new ship, the MSC Seascape. It was my second time sailing on that ship. The first time was during the maiden voyage of the first sailing ever. And this time, I went with my girlfriend, Lauren, as well as her dad. Both of them speak French. My girlfriend's dad only speaks French and has only sailed on MSC. He was disappointed. His girlfriend was disappointed. And I got a real scope, a lay of the land. Land. There was a fight that took place over a minor. There were minors at the club, and it, it turned out to be a very uh, interesting, like I said, just kind of honestly for me, somewhat traumatic experience of the things that kind of took place on board. I'm going to talk about it. As most of you know, I try my best to look at everything objectively, not to bash any particular company. I am very transparent. I am very thorough in my videos, and you guys seem to like my overall reviews. So that will be up today at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Make sure you guys tune in. So I do think it's fair to say that Carnival Cruise Line is not not Disney. And I mean this both figuratively and literally. The leaders of Carnival Cruise Line have even come out and said as much. However, it is a fact that Carnival Cruise Line is without a doubt, and I don't think it's an argument, one of the best, if not the best and most popular cruise line on the entire planet. They're also owned by the largest cruising company on planet Earth, the Carnival Corporation. And well, they do a good job and they do so swimmingly. That's a weird word, swimmingly. I don't know why I said that. But anyway, when it comes to Carnival Cruise Line, I want to say later in the year 2022 last quarter or so there has been a lot of heat coming to carnival there's been a lot of fights that have been put into the light and even i want to say over the last decade it is not uncommon for somebody to refer to Carnival Cruise Line as the poor people cruise line, the Walmart of the sea, which I have agreed with, but not in the sense of bashing and trying to shame people that sail Carnival. I say Walmart in the seas in the sense that a lot of people go to Walmart for something, so it is justified. However, Carnival has been trying to somewhat change their image. With the launch of their new ship, the Carnival Celebration, we had the Carnival Mardi Gras. There's also the Jubilee coming this year, and well, Carnival has been trying to simply improve and clean up all of the mess, the drama, the tomfoolery that takes place on board some of their ships. With all the drama being seen on social media and TV for the world to see in regards to Carnival Cruise Line, you would think that when it at least comes to all the fights that take place, Carnival has it as a separate event that you can book on board. However, I do believe it is a combination of people like myself putting it out there for awareness and talking about it as an actual topic here on YouTube because for a lot of people it's interesting and simply the fact that yes it seems that people are a little bit more aggressive than they once were and yes you could take the prices and the locations all that stuff uh, demographics as well that determine how aggressive and the issues that take place on board cruise ships however I'm not here to talk about that when it comes to carnival alone lately they have been stepping up and putting in some new rules implementing new policies for example for somebody that is being disorderly on board in regards of a fight or harassing a guest or even a crew member they could be banned for life kicked off a carnival potentially face criminal charges but the thing that I also have a controversy with is that I guess if that does happen they will also face a mere $500 fine don't get me wrong $500 in the grand scheme of things is a significant amount of money for most people of course even myself included and some of you fine folk out there however when it comes to fighting I don't think it's enough to deter people away I have said that $10,000 is enough they are also kind of reinstating stating all of their rules well I wouldn't say reinstating they're just kind of putting it out in the light and sending emails and updating a couple things we've already had things like uh, bans against drugs like marijuana on board and stuff of that nature however carnival has recently come out and said that they will now be banning speakers on board their ships and if you do bring them they will be confiscated 
and given back on disembarkation day when the cruise has concluded. Naturally, I do believe that people are going to feel one way or the other about this new rule with the speaker system and just in general with all of these new policies that Carnival is kind of putting out there. Even though most of these have already been on their site for years, a lot of people just don't pay attention to it, let's be fair. I don't think anybody's going to Carnival's policies except when they're looking into what the was going on during the pandemic and COVID and stuff of that nature. However, Carnival has been kind of re-implementing all this stuff and reminding everybody and saying, hey, you break these rules, you're going to face some issues, primarily being kicked off or facing potential charges, penalties, stuff of that nature on board their ship. But when it comes to the speaker issue, I do believe that looking at the pro and con side of it, it is all bad because believe it or not, there are people like myself that do bring speakers on board and I don't blast it all over the place. Who knows, maybe I just like to kind of listen to my music while I'm in my room, while I'm in the shower, and who knows, you know, we're all adults here, let's say we're, we're bed wrestling, maybe I want to set up some candles and a nice sound system for my lovely lady while we do the adult thing, I'm just being honest and fair here, there are people out there that do that, they want a little bit of ambiance on the balcony and while they sail the seven seas i think that's fair but what the problem is and i've seen this on many ships like myself like the carnival paradise that you have people that bring these speaker systems it seems like they confiscated or stole or borrowed a speaker from the theater on the cruise ship and put it inside of the room as you can hear music kind of vibrating and being heard from the entire hallway if not even the hallway next over to you and it does become extremely problematic in general, this does kind of suck to see that they are cracking down as much. However, in order to change the image and the overall perspective of the brand, yes, some things do kind of have to go to an extreme. And I do understand and sympathize with the people that also say, well, now we are being made to kind of feel like children, which I don't think is okay. Changes must be made, but you do have to ask yourself, if you are paying hundreds, if not thousands of dollars for a vacation, why do you have to follow all of these rules? And well, rules are rules. People are going to either decide to adhere to them or they are also going to break the rules, which for a lot of people, you can argue that is part of human nature. When it comes to, let's say, the ganja, the green stuff, you could say, and I've seen people make this argument, if we are not supposed to have it, which many do either way, why not have more drug-sniffing animals at these cruise ports and terminals? Why does the cruise ship go to places like Jamaica where it is thrown around so freely and they are expected to not bring some of it back on board? And why do they have the Rasta crews, the Bob Marley cruises and all stuff of that nature? Yes, it is definitely a conversation that needs to be had and... I guess at some point maybe they will or maybe they won't, but the thing is these are rules that are currently being implemented. When it comes to the fights, like I said, I think the financial penalty should be at least $10,000 to hopefully deter people away from fighting, even though I know some people are going to be stupid and well, non-civilized and do it anyway. I do believe there are certain excuses for it. However, they are far and in between. When it comes to the speaker system, you could argue that maybe just only find the people that are blasting music in their cabins, disturbing others, especially in the middle of the night, and maybe confiscate the speaker system then. But I do believe that you do sometimes have to go to the source, the root, the foundation. If you don't change the foundation, it's like building a house. And imagine that you just leave the foundation and you build another house on top of the foundation that was already crumbling. Then you have your problem and you didn't exactly fix the problem that was actually there to begin with. Long story short, because being honest, I am somewhat rambling on here. I do believe that from a business perspective, Carnival is doing what is right. These days, there are a lot of competitors out there that... That may within the next five to ten years really start to gain on carnival and then carnival ends up losing some of that demographic it's just bad for business obviously because well we do have to continue to make money keep the engine running as it were and if carnival doesn't adapt and i do believe that any company that fails to be innovative and adapt will eventually perish look at the netflix and blockbuster situation two different industries however i do believe the storyline overall and the meaning is all the same but i do want to know what all of you think about this situation personally i do understand what carnival is doing i don't agree with all of these rules i do believe that if i'm going to pay for a vacation the point is to be free 
within the confines of rules and not breaking them. However, it does seem like they can be a little bit too tightening of the rules and people feel a little bit restricted and they're probably going to take their money and vacation time elsewhere. But that has yet to be seen. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below. I do have to finish editing my MSC video 6 p.m. Make sure you guys check it out. As usual, know that I love and appreciate every single one of you. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And well, I'll see you later on today. Take it easy.